Hi, my name is Hanuman and I am talking about control templates in Silverlight. In my previous video, I talked about how to create a simple button control out of custom shape using the control templates. And in this video, I am going to <coughs> talk about creating a general button, a bit more complex control than the simple button control using the same control template in then for and these videos are recorded for anumansi.com good let us jump into the blend for as you can see here i'm ready with my simple rectangle which is which i'm going to use uh, as <coughs> it has a button and i'm also having some shape like the bell shape and i have a uh, female shape additionally so I am going to choose uh, all these three like uh, this three means the rectangle the male shape and the female shape combinedly I am going to make them work okay as a gender button so let us see how we are going to do that I designed these two sh these two shapes using expression design which is also a, a tool from expression studio like blend so these shapes are designed in expression design good so what i want is i want these three controls like the male shape the female shape and the rectangle as i want to use these three combinedly so i need to make i need to select them and to select all these three right click and say group into campus so i'm just grouping them you can't you can't see anything here you need to just select here the solid color of the canvas <coughs> as my rectangle is a rounded corner rectangle you can see the background of canvas by default which is given as black so i'm going to convert it as white so that uh, i can see my rectangle clearly and uh, so the background of canvas also matching with the also syncs with the background of the exact uh, overall control okay now the canvas which i just created out of the three shapes the male shape the, the female shape and the rectangle i'm going to just convert it into a control so say right click and say make into control you can choose any button or sorry any control here into which you want to make your canvas so that means you are trying to convert your control into what the question is this so the answer you should say I want to make or I want to convert my canvas <coughs> or my rectangle into into a toggle button so you can choose anything I'm choosing here the toggle button Say okay or name it as gender button okay I don't want the text here I'm just removing the text you can observe that previously this is a rectangle now this is a control which control toggle button control so we need not to drag and drop a toggle button and code on that we can create some customized or we can create some shapes we can draw, make them into a specific control make them like or make them work like a specific control okay that is what we are doing here that is what the concept of control template is <coughs> and you can see this control now is having all the properties of all the properties of uh, the toggle button all the all the events of the toggle button and all the states of the toggle button okay so it is also uh, inheriting the shapes sorry the states of the toggle button so we have your checked state unchecked and indeterminate state now i want to see what i want to do when it is in a checked state what should be shown when it is in a unchecked state what should be shown on this button when this is when it is in undetermined state so we need to go for that 
I'm going to say in unchecked state during unchecked state I want the female button and the male button okay both the female control sorry the, the female shape and the male shape that means at the at the uh, zero second both must be because we are also using some animation to get the sh sh shapes okay so now when it is unchecked the female in point three seconds okay the female shape in point three seconds should should come out should appear like this <clears throat> okay so very similarly when it is in checked state when the toggle button is in checked state my both of the controls <coughs> must be in must be in a disappearing state like this okay and the male in 0.3 seconds should appear and we have one more state in determined state that means you don't want to choose any gender okay in that case both the male and female the opacity must be zero we don't want to show anything there okay so let us save this and go back to the objects now you are done before executing we just check whether the three state is three state is checked or not see here is three state then only you can see the indeterminate state also <clears throat> otherwise only checked and checked states are shown the blank button is not shown to you only the male and female uh, either male or female is shown to you uh, shapes are shown to you but not the blank uh, screen as we designed okay so if you check this is three state uh, to true so then your third state that means the blank state is also uh, being shown to you. I will give the tool to pass click to select gender <coughs> save this and execute this so you can see here if you click here the tooltip you can see if I click here So here you can see, if you click the tooltip you can see, the male is shown. No, I want to, I don't want to select anything. Now it is in indeterminate state. Click again, you can see the female shape. That means you want to select the female. Again male, again indeterminate. So you can also record, <coughs> you can also record these clicks or these events by implementing this checked state we also have a unchecked state okay and indeterminate state okay so we just learned how to create a gender button using the concept of control templates in silverlight using expression pen 4 thanks a lot and we'll be waiting for your comments and questions. Keep watching.